So this is a video that's probably going to raise some shackles, so buckle up. What's up and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a pro detailer or car enthusiast and you love everything auto detailing, consider subscribing. So I want to talk about something that I am prepared to get hated on for and all that sort of stuff. So here it goes. In the detailing world, you guys know I've kind of built the, the Wilson Auto Detailing uh, idea around and community around cutting through hype and BS. And so I kind of want to do that here. You guys know when you walk into Target and you have two different face washes. One of those face washes says $3.99 and then one of them says $9.99 and you look at the $9.99 one and it's smaller than the cheaper one, so it's less product. And the packaging says, this face wash comes from a cantaloupe that was grown in the mountains of France, and it'll exfoliate your skin like no other. As Americans, we love foreign things, and we'll pay more for foreign things, right? When you slap a label that says, Italian made, German, European, Canadian, whatever it is, all of a sudden it's marked up in price. I hate to burst anyone's bubble, and I debated on making this video. You understand that people legally can put labels on products in the detailing world, and they can say Italian, Canadian, whatever, and it doesn't mean that all of their product or even the majority of their product or tool is actually native to that country. Sometimes it just means that they put it together, they assembled it in that country and all of the parts are sourced from China. Let's just put it in the context of this wash mitt. It's made in China. Now I don't, I didn't search for a tag that said made in China. It's made in China, okay? I bought this for five bucks at AutoZone. It's super soft. I'd wash my face with it, okay? Very, very soft. This wash mitt, you can find it on Amazon with a label on it that says Meguiar's. And all of a sudden, it's $14.99, 20, 25, 30 bucks, a pack of two for $38. And I just have to say it, it's, it's a farce, man. It's a, don't be a sucker, okay? There's an old saying, if you're at a poker table and you're 30 minutes into the game and you don't know who the sucker is, you're the sucker. Don't be the sucker, okay? Reason I bring this up is because People will roast other detailers online for using wash mitts like this. It's off brand, it's five bucks, it'll scratch your paint. No, it won't. This is a great wash mitt. It's cheap, anybody can buy it. Any beginner can use it, any expert can use it. It's gonna give you fantastic results. You can wash it just like any other one. And it was sourced in the same place and maybe even the same factory or manufacturer as the higher priced option. What I'm not saying I'm not saying there is not there are not products out there like this that are higher quality wash mitts that cost more because they are higher quality. They exist. What I'm saying is read between the lines in the detailing business, don't be a sucker and learn how to get past the hype. Because there's a company that I work with that it's, I actually work with them for very specific reasons, I'll explain later, called Max Shine. It is a Chinese based company. Now none of these products or tools I'm using here are from that company, but I'm working with them as a Chinese based company. They're coming into the American market. The reason I'm working with them is because they cut out the middleman. They are on both sides of the equation. They'll manufacture and they have their own brand and so they don't have to upsell all of these innocent beginner detailers who don't know the difference, who are wasting their money. That's why I like them, because they match my vision of cutting out the BS and cutting out the hype, kind of like I'm explaining in this video. I market their polisher, I really love their polisher. You guys have to understand, and I hope I don't get in trouble for making this video, honestly, from one of these companies. You understand that these bigger companies like Meguiar's, Griot's, They'll go to these factories that are manufacturing polishers in China, they'll find one that they like, they'll tweak it a little bit, and then they'll put their label on it. It's called private labeling. It's called white labeling. It's called sourcing from China, sourcing from websites like Alibaba. 
It's a great business model. I'm just telling you, that's what's behind the curtain in a lot of these arenas. And so sometimes guys are like, I only buy Meguiar's. I would never buy from something like Max Shine because it's Chinese. And all the while, <laughs> they're the same exact source where these products are coming from. It's the same source. It's just a different label. So as someone who's in the detailing industry who is concerned in the, about this part, just be aware of branding. Be aware of these things. Okay, I've talked too much already. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And uh, I'm going to hook up links to cheap, inexpensive microfiber mitts here. But what I want to show you guys is I'm washing my own car right here. I'm washing it with this $5 wash mitt. And I've got a solution in this bucket. I know this is probably just going to make you guys even more angry. I cannot tell you what's in this bucket because I'm actually working with a specific family owned American company that produces a certain chemical right now that I am falling in love with day by day that I was actually very skeptical of in the beginning. I have their chemical in this bucket. It's not a car soap, okay? It is not a car soap. I am going to be washing my car with this chemical and I just want to see how well it does, what happens. Let me tell you something else. The reason I am raving about this particular chemical is because of how powerful it is and how safe it is. I just took full strength of this chemical, sprayed it on this car paint in the sun. I le I'm letting it sit right there and I'm gonna see if it eats into the paint. This is the kind of experimenting I'm doing on this channel, just so you guys know. I'm spraying full strength chemicals onto car paint <laughs> that, and I know the owners of the cars, okay? They're not worried about it, don't worry. But it's not my customer's car. Spraying it full strength on the paint and seeing if it works. So when I push products and I push tools like this, it's serious experimenting happens. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and I'm going to wash this car and we're going to check out how well it works with this cheap microfiber mitt and chemical that's not even car soap. And it's okay for all of you guys who want to call me a hack. I understand and it's okay. So I want to give you guys a quick little lowdown on the before of my car. This is actually my own car. This is my Hyundai Sonata. You guys can see it's kind of like the shoemaker's wife who has no shoes. I detail cars and yet my car is so dirty. Um, and of course this is a hand-me-down car actually, which is why you see all of the uh, curb rash here. So you guys can see there's tons of surface dirt, right? Um, pretty standard there. And then... I want to show you the front as well because there's bugs all over it. And one of the things I'm testing with this product is how well can I take these bugs off with literally a wash mitt, a bucket, and this mystery chemical that I will show you guys eventually very soon. Um, and it's not even car soap. So here we go. I'm just going to wash it in the traditional way. I know you guys are thinking, ah, don't. You're, you need to use the two-bucket wash method. It's okay. I'm not overly attached to my car. And when I put swirls in my car, it actually helps me because I can then make videos and content on how to remove the swirls and so it's a win-win for all of us here you guys get content I get videos and I'm not overly attached to my car paint and I really don't care if there's swirls in it like my customers do so here we go Alright guys, moment of truth. Here we go. I'm going to start here on the front. I already know what the paint looks like. It's amazing. But let's just look at the bugs here. Let me sit on my little rolling stool. So, check it out. Can we see any bugs? All I did was scrub with the $5 wash mitt and my surprise solution. Check it out. I did no bug removal other than just a simple wash. And here's my results. Hard to argue with that, I think. 
Though I'm sure some people will check out the paint here. We'll get a wide view. And we'll go in a little bit closer here. Barely did anything. Barely even used any pressure. And again, car soaps are pretty basic. It's not that hard to clean car surface dirt. But again, this is not a car soap. Um, and so the fact that it doubles so effectively as a car wash and is so economical, this is why I'm ooing and aahing over it. I love this. So guys, I make this video and I say all of that for a couple reasons. Number one, there's a ton of beginners in the industry. I remember when I was beginning in the auto detailing industry when I was like literally 13 years old and I was running in circles and chasing my tail trying to figure out the right products, the right tools, and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I would get so bogged down from the auto detailing forums because YouTube wasn't what it was back then and there wasn't a bunch of how-to videos. And I wish I would have had something like this that was just like a resource that said, hey, here's what not to do, here's what to do if you're beginning or even if you're years and years in the business and you just have a garage full of products that you don't ever use, here's how to cut to the chase. Number two, I also just think that it's time a little bit for the industry to fess up at some of the stuff that they've been doing and the way they've been marketing things um, to separate detailers who work their tails off every day um, to make 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, $500. They're working in the hot sun um, as I do. I just think, man, it's time that at least someone in the industry says, hey, here's what's happening. Here's what to avoid. For you guys who are working your tails off for the money you're making, because I know what that's like, here's how to not separate yourself from your wallet as much and still get the results you want. Because the fact of it is, yes, you wanna get, you wanna get the right products, you wanna get the right tools, you want to be a good detailer, but at the same exact time, you wanna be profitable. You wanna have a profitable business. And I think, I just believe those two things can, can exist simultaneously for the detailers out there. And that's really what this video is about. So if you guys wanna check out the wash mitt, even the bucket that I used, I'll hook up both those things down below as well as my website, detailingjunk.com. Listen, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. I imagine if you don't like this video, you've probably already hit the thumbs down button. And of course, leave any comments as well as just hate comments below. I'd love to read them. And if you're new here and you love everything auto detailing and you're a pro detail or a car enthusiast, then consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this and guys as always and gals in the auto detailing community thank you for being involved here in Wilson auto detailing and as always from Luke keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video